G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and welcome to this quick vMix overview tutorial. You might be thinking, well what is vMix? vMix is powerful Windows software that allows you to create professional live video productions easily and affordably. It gives you the ability to add pretty much any production element that you can think of. Cameras, graphics, titles, videos, video calls, web content, live and recorded audio, NDI sources, instant replay, and social media content, just as some examples. You can then mix these together to create a production that you can record, live stream, and output the video from all at the same time. Now, vMix is used all around the world in a wide range of situations, from one person productions right up to network TV workflows. So if you're broadcasting school sports, streaming your church service, recording tutorials, or perhaps live streaming a puppy fashion show, then vMix is a great option to try. Want to know more? Well, we literally have hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about how to use vMix to the max. So how does it all work? Well, here is the vMix interface. Now you can check it out for yourself by downloading and installing a free 60-day trial of vMix at vMix.com. Just download, install, and enter your email address to register. It's an unwatermarked version of vMix Pro, so you can use all of the features like instant replay, 4K, 8 vMix calls, and all of the rest of the vMix features. The vMix interface resembles a traditional hardware switcher. On the left, you'll see a preview window, which allows you to preview your inputs before switching to your live output. On the right, you'll see the live program output. The content in this window is what is typically being live streamed recorded and used as your external video output. We use the orange and green window colors here, but if you prefer something different, you can change the colors in the settings. You'll see that I have a basic production here. I have a camera with audio, a video file, and some images. Now, if I want to preview something, I can just click on that input, and then I can transition that to the live program output by using one of the transition buttons here, like so. Then if I want to transition myself back, I can click this fade button again, or any of the other customizable transitions here. Now, sometimes you might want to do a hard cut to an input. So instead of sending it to preview, you just want to send it straight to your program output. So I can do this by using one of the buttons underneath the input, such as quick play or cut. So I'm going to click cut here, and it's going to cut directly to my program output. Now, one of the major features of vMix is the 300 plus shortcuts that you can program to perform functions just like this in vMix. So you can use your keyboard, X keys, MIDI controller, Xbox controller, or Stream Deck to simplify your workflow. You can set up a shortcut to easily switch between different inputs, adjust your audio, streaming, recording, all sorts of stuff, just like you would with a button on a traditional hardware switcher. Now you might know these as macros or hotkeys in other software, but in vMix they're called shortcuts. So everything that you need to use in your production is added as an input using the Add Input menu down the bottom left-hand corner. And the inputs then appear in what I unofficially call the Input Zone. So now we're going to add an input to this production. So I'm going to go to Add Input. As you can see, we have a ton of different categories of inputs that we can add to this production. I'm going to add another camera to this one. So I've selected the camera input on the left-hand side. Now from the drop down menu, it will show any capture devices that I have available to me installed on this computer. Now we test out a lot of different capture devices here at vMix, so you can check out our supported hardware page for more information about capture devices. So I know that my camera is connected to this connector here on my black magic card, and then I've got my input here as SDI, my resolution and my frame rate, and those match what my camera is outputting. Now these are probably going to be different to what you've connected, so what you'll need to do is use these menus here to adjust the resolution and frame rate to what your camera is outputting. Underneath that, I've left these as default. That's typically what you're going to do. Uh, you can choose to enable audio. Each capture card will probably offer something different down here, but I'm gonna leave these as default, and you only should really be changing this if something's not quite working properly. All right, so down the bottom, I'm going to click OK. As you can see, this is now in my production. Hello, how are you going? Uh, this camera is now here and I can start using it and say moving it around and putting it in my production like so. So now that I've got my second camera in the production, I can go through and adjust some of the settings on it. So I can click the little gear icon in the bottom right of any input and then go into the settings here. So I can change the name here. I can adjust the mouse click actions, a different behavior like mixing audio, um, playing with transition and that sort of thing. 
On the left, you'll see color adjustments. I can add a green screen chroma key here. I can do three-way color correction, positioning, triggers, all that kind of stuff can be added here from the input settings. Now to save those, just click the X at the top. All right, so now I have that all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna add a title to my production. So I just need to go to add input, and then I'm gonna to go to title. We have a lot of different title templates available in vMix for lower thirds and different types of titles. So I'm gonna select one, click OK. And here I can adjust my headline and description text. This is known as the title editor in vMix where I can make changes to the font, add clocks, countdowns, presets, that type of thing can all be added from this screen here. When I'm finished, just click the X and I can adjust that again by right clicking and going into title editor. So if we wanna overlay this title onto our program output, we can use one of the four customizable overlay channels in vMix. Now you might know these as a downstream key or DSK on hardware switches. These are positions that you can put any of your inputs into. So underneath each input, you can see one, two, three, and four, and these are the different channels. So if I select number one here, it's going to overlay this title in channel one, and I can press it again to remove it. Now these can be adjusted in the overlay section down the bottom right here. Now as a quick example, I might choose to use channel two as a picture in picture for a temporary um, overlays. So I can use this here. And as you can see, I've got my second camera as a quick picture in picture on overlay channel two. Now we have plenty of videos on overlays and titling on our YouTube channel. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I create scenes or use a mix effect? Well, each of your inputs can also be made into a multi-layered scene in vMix. So all I need to do is choose which one I want to add layers to, go into the settings, and then go to the multi-view tab, which will allow me to add up to 10 different layers onto this particular input. So what I'm gonna do is go to this drop-down menu here. I can add my title as a, as a layer. I'm going to add this logo as a layer. I can click on it to drag it around. I can hold down shift to drag it in, put it in the corner. I can adjust it by going to the position section as well by manually adjusting it. And once I've finished, I can just click the X up the top to save it. Now, as you can see now, I have multiple layers on this particular input that I can use as a shot in my production, like so. Now, if I wanna start from scratch, I just need to go to add input, color, transparent, and it will create a blank input for me to start building layers on. If you're trying to free up some space in your input zone down here, you can right click the title. As you can see, it's gonna minimize those. I can also use these categories here by dragging different things into different categories and naming them so I have videos in one category, for example. Now on the right hand side here, you'll also notice an audio mixer. This is where you can adjust all the audio settings for your individual inputs, like delays, VST3 plugins, channels, that type of thing. And you can also use it to route your audio as well. So we have multiple buses that you can route audio with in vMix. I can minimize it by clicking at the top of it. As you can see, audio is still working. See the master audio level here. And then I can bring it back like so. Undock it to move it to a different monitor. Minimize it to bring it back. So now that I've got my production pretty much ready to go, I can go ahead and record it. So all I need to do is go into the recording settings down the bottom here. I can select the file that I want to save to, choose the file type, codec, uh, and adjust all of the quality settings in the middle here. Click OK when done, and then hit the record button when you want to start recording. Then press it again to stop. Same thing works with the streaming settings. Just click on the streaming settings down the bottom. You can enter a custom RTMP server here, or you can use one of the API integrations like Facebook, YouTube, Mixer, um, Wowza, Vimeo, all that kind of stuff. Just log in, create the stream, and then you can start streaming to that provider. Once you've selected your streaming provider, you can go ahead and select the quality from the drop-down menu here, or adjust individual settings using the streaming quality settings. Once you've completed, you can save and close that, uh, and then you can hit the stream button down the bottom to start streaming, and it will go red when it's currently streaming. Now, if you do wanna output your video from your graphics card, you can use this full screen option up here. You can press this button to turn it on, and you can adjust the settings using this menu here choosing to send out the output, preview, multi-view, or inputs. As I mentioned before, there are long and in-depth video tutorials about all the things that are covered today. Additional features like NDI, SRT, Replay, Virtual Sets, vMix Core, they all have their own videos too, so you can check those out. And we make a lot of videos, so if you want something covered, you can let us know. That about wraps it up for this video. Feel free to download our free trial and see if it fits your production workflow. If you have any support questions about vMix, please drop us an email via the support page on vMix.com. And finally, if you have a million dollar feature suggestion or request, 
head over to the, our forums and add it to our feature requests forum, forums.vmix.com. Thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.